Today we're moving ahead with our Nano Lagoon project. This is the 10 gallon glass aquarium reef tank for newbies. Uh, we have bought the glass tank at Walmart. We've gone ahead and painted the background with Krylon patriotic blue paint as described in another video. And today we're going to do a step called the leak check. This is before we put in the sand and the rock and the salt water. So what we've done is taken the tank outside, put it on a little bench, and we've tried to keep the base area around the tank dry. And what we're going to do is just fill that thing up with fresh water from a hose, as I'm doing now. And we're going to fill it right to the top with fresh water from the hose. And what we're trying to do is get it as close to the top as we can. And then we're going to leave that overnight. Now, if the tank is intact, there will be no leaks on the bench in the morning. And if there is a problem with leakage, uh, we will see it. And the idea, of course, is that you want to do this step outside using fresh water and not find out the hard way in your living room with salt water that the tank um, has a crack or a leak. Now I will say this, these tanks are made by a company called All Glass Aquarium, which has been around forever, and in all of the years that I have been working with tanks from that particular company, I have never seen one leak, and that's actually decades. But uh, still we go ahead and do this step, the leak check, just to be sure. And uh, in the morning, we'll check for leaks, and uh, if everything is fine, we'll go ahead and just take a piece of aquarium hose like this. Uh, this is just the uh, standard aquarium airline tubing, or you can use a larger diameter uh, tubing if you have it. And we'll just siphon that water out very carefully and get it all out and dry out the tank in preparation for the next step, which is adding the sand bed.